Good morning, Kipsters. Miss Lindenberg here, and we are getting ready to do our calendar. But before we do our calendar, just like we've been doing this whole week, we're going to do some counting of our coins at the end of this video. So what I want you to do is right now, I want you to go get a piece of paper, doesn't have to be white, anything, and something to write with, a marker, a pencil, a pen, so you can be ready for when it is time to go count those coins. So friends, I'm going to give you about 15 seconds, it's a race, to go get those materials. Ready? Go. That was 15 seconds. You guys are so awesome. All right, Kipsters. So yesterday when we did our calendar, it was Thursday, April 16th, 2020. So friends, I'm wondering what day is today, what day of the week it is, what the day is, and what comes next in my pattern. So let's start by singing the Days of the Week song. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So friends, if yesterday was Thursday, what day is today? You are absolutely correct. Today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long all day long yesterday was thursday good job tomorrow will be saturday oh what fun oh what fun so friends it is friday it's friday it's friday it's the end of the week it's the best day it's friday it's friday so what are you gonna do So what are you gonna do? I cannot wait to hear about what you guys are gonna do over this weekend. But friends, I wanna know what the date is. What the date is. So friends, if yesterday was the 16th, I'm thinking, hmm, what is one more than 16? What is one more than 16? <gasps> you knew it that fast, Kipsers? How awesome. One more than 16 is? 17. And how do I write the number 17? A 1 and a 7. Awesome job. So repeat after me. Say today is April 17th, 2020. It is April 17th, 2020. Pat yourselves on the back. That was so awesome. Counting today, Kipsters. But I see a pattern in my calendar. I see a triangle that goes above and then below. Above below, above, below, above, below, above, below, above, below, above, below, above, below. Where should my triangle go next? Yes, it's going to go above my number 17. So I'm going to put my triangle above my number 17. Awesome job, Kipster. Say goodbye to my calendar. Say goodbye, calendar and say hello to my coin. So friends, I know that a penny is worth one cent. Good job. I know that a nickel is worth five cents. And I know a dime is worth 10 cents. Awesome job, Kipsters. So because we're so smart and we're almost first grade ready, we didn't even need to sing our song. Rocking it out. And now we're going to practice counting our coins. So just like you, I told you at the beginning to get a piece of paper and a marker, take that out and put it in front of you and follow along with Miss Linderberg as she adds these coins and writes number sentences. So friends, I see a lot of different coins on my, paper, on my board. So friends, I see pennies and I know that they're pennies because they're copper brown. I see nickels because I noticed that they're thick and fat. And I see dimes because they're little and they're thin. So we're going to use those coins to help us make our number sentences today. Are you ready, Kipsters? Take the cap off your marker and let's start writing. Friends, how much is a penny worth? One cent. Awesome job. And if I want to figure out how much I have all together, 
I'm going to use that fancy sign called the addition sign. Awesome job. So I have one penny. I'm going to keep my neat, my work nice and organized. One plus one plus one plus one plus one. And at the end, I'm going to put a equal sign. Awesome, awesome job. Friends, that is one way you can write the number sentence. I'm wondering if you can think of a different way to write the number sentence. I'm wondering if you can think of a different way to write this number sentence. So I see all of these three pennies grouped together. One, two, three. And then I see two pennies over here. One, two. What's a number sentence that I can use? I can use two because these are two my two coins. So I can write two plus one, two, three, three. What is two plus three? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. My answer is five. So that was just one way we can group our five coins. Awesome job, Kipsters. And now I have these nickels down here. How much is a nickel worth? Five cents. Awesome job. So I'm going to write my five. But I want to figure out I have all together. And I have another nickel. And nickel is worth five cents. So I'm going to use my addition sign. And I'm going to add another five. Then I'm going to use that equal sign. And I need to figure out what five plus five is. I don't know what five plus five is, Kipsers. I'm going to put one number in my head. The number I'm going to put in my head is five. Five. And then I'm going to count five more. Ready? Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I know to stop there because I'm adding five. So five plus five is ten. Awesome job. And how do I write the number ten? A one and a zero. Awesome job, kissers. Kiss that brain. You guys are rocking it out. Now I see a dime. And how much is a dime worth? Ten cents. Awesome job, kissers. So friends, we just solved those number sentences. And not only did we solve them in one way, we found sometimes two ways to solve that problem. Awesome, awesome job. Put the cap back on your marker, put your, your um, paper to the side, and let's get counting to see how many days we have been online learning. So I'm gonna get my hundreds cup. My tens, my hundreds. my tens, and my ones. Here's my tens, and here is my ones. And I know it's a ones because it has one, a ten, and a hundred. So friends, kids, there's last time we met, which was yesterday, we were out of school for 22 school days. And I know that if I count, I have one bundle of 10. I have another bundle of 10, 10, 20, 21, and 22. I'm thinking, hmm, what is one more than 22? What's one more than 22? Let's see. Let's put it up. Let's put it in and see. Let's count. Ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. We have been out of school and doing online learning for 23 days. Kipsters, that has been so many days that we all miss you so much, but keep up that good work with that online learning. I can't wait to see you again soon. Have an awesome day, Kipsters.